Hey YouTube, hello Paradise on 18 Wheels. How's it going again? Thought I'd shoot another video. I was kind of wrong on the time since I've been here at the customer waiting for somebody from Swift to get back with me. It's actually have been here now over three hours waiting for them to tell me where I need to go to pick up an empty trailer. So uh, I was going to let you guys know um, Driving through Los Angeles. <laughs> like a NASCAR track. Cars do not even hesitate to pull in front of you. They won't even think twice. Keep that in mind when you come to Los Angeles. Just have your radar up. Uh, be aware of your surroundings you have to have vision that way that way down and up and straight because the cars here the car drivers here in California through the Los Angeles County and the city of Los Angeles and then all the way to San Diego Car after car after car, pickup truck after pickup truck after pickup truck, semi after semi after semi. Now these are local drivers. They will not hesitate. Cut right in front of you. I even had cars that were over here in the hammer lane, literally go all the way across over here to get off an exit, right in front of me. Now, I'm going to give you guys a pointer. If you drive for Swift, keep your cruise control on. You know why? Because it has that smart radar on the front bumper. And if a car cuts in front of you, it's going to slow you down immediately. And you're not going to get a violation of following too close from Swift because you will get notified on your Qualcomm you're following too close or you're going too fast going past the speed limit just keep it on cruise control okay the speed limit here is 55 but you really can't do 55 over here because they'll run you over that's the mentality over here it's either kill or be killed so I just kept it at 56 miles per hour kept people from coming around me and giving me the number one sign honking at me but you got to be aware of where you're at at all times. Keep your eye on those on-ramps when you're riding in that right lane because here in Los Angeles County, San Diego, anywhere from Los Angeles all the way to San Diego, trucks are required to stay in the right lane. They're very strict over here. So, I mean, if you, there's trucks that go in the left lane, but you know, it's <laughs> your guess is good as mine. I don't know. CHP, if they're going to pull you over or not, I'm not willing to take the chance. So I just stay in the right lane and I just keep that cruise control on. And basically, the truck drives itself. You just got to steer it, you know. Somebody cuts in front of you, the truck will slow down. If traffic starts to slow down, this uh, Freightliner I told you guys about that I got from Swift, this 2021 Freightliner Cascadia. I don't know if you guys are aware of it, but it has a really smart cruise control on it. I mean, literally, you just have to steer the truck. When you come to heavy, heavy traffic to a complete stop, the truck will drive itself. It will come to a stop. Literally. And then when the traffic moves, the, tra the, tra the truck will start driving. All you gotta do is hold onto the steering wheel and drive the truck. Super, super smart Freightliner. Never seen anything like it before. It's... I seen it on YouTube a while back. Lori and I were watching a YouTube video on these new Freightliners are coming out. Didn't have any idea that Swift Transportation would spec 
their Freightliners like that, the 2021 models. But sure enough, it does, and I keep looking this way because I'm looking at the truck. Uh, let me see if I can come over here because I don't want to get the truck number in my video. Let me come over here, come over here, come over here. Uh, let me go over here, let me go over here. I don't want to get my truck number in the video. All right, now I'll turn it around so you guys can see the truck. All right, I do have it on idolize, idling the truck. The truck will turn on and turn off by itself. It is hot over here, 101 degrees right now. It's kind of breezy out here, you guys probably can hear that, hopefully you can. not but it is kind of breezy out here. Uh, but uh, these Freightliners are really, really smart. It's really cool how you have it on cruise control and the truck will come to a stop if the traffic comes to a stop or if the traffic starts to slow down. The truck will come to a halt. And you don't have to do nothing. If you panic and you go and you touch the brake, well then now you gotta use the gas pedal and the brake pedal like normal and then when traffic starts moving then just reset your uh, cruise control to where you had it and it'll do it it was a little it was a little uh, I don't even know what the word is but uh, I was nervous but I went ahead and just tried it. I tried it with some semis. If you guys are nervous, don't do it with the cars. But if you're behind other trucks and they start slowing down, keep your cruise control on and you'll see this Freightliner does slow down. And it'll keep you the distance away from the other traffic in front of you, trucks or cars, so you don't get that violation on your, uh, your record here at Swift Transportation. And watch your speed when you're coming down these hills. There's a lot of hills in California. And uh, you won't even realize it, but you'll be speeding. Um, I didn't have a lot of weight in the, tra in the trailer coming over here. So I'm used to, you know, as an experienced driver, I'm used to being able to drive at higher speeds than what are required on the posted limits here in California because I'm super light so I don't see why I have to drive 35 miles down a hill when I'm super light so here I'm driving down the hill doing what I'm normally used to doing you know as an experienced driver there's no danger there's I'm not even I'm just using the Drake brakes the whole way Swift sent me a message on the computer that I need to slow down because of the posted speed limit. So I'm like, wow. This company that I drive for, when you think they're not watching you guys, they're watching. Just be careful, okay? Be careful when you start out with these companies that are, uh, well, I'll just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> um, there's nothing wrong with starting with Swift. Swift is good for uh, starters, you know, starting company. It, there's no other company out, well, there is companies out there, but I can't, I'm not gonna say their names because I work here, but there is a few companies, other companies other than Swift, that are willing to bring in new guys, new women, new gentlemen, new, new uh, ladies to drive, learn how to drive, get your experience. So you guys can pretty much guess why I'm here. <laughs> So, 
and it's nice here in San Diego guys wow the really rich millionaires here let me see if I can turn this camera around let me see if I can blow this up up on top of those hills each hill has a mansion on the very top you see them up there that's what I've been noticing over here in San Diego all the mountains all the very top of the mountains got mansions up on the top that's how the, the millionaires live over here king of the mountain must be nice to be that one percent huh all right guys thanks for watching our, our youtube channel we really do appreciate it please uh if you found this video helpful please give us a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel we really do appreciate it thanks again until the next time see you later have a good one bye bye